Laptops, phones, and everything else all need batteries, and today we've become accustomed to keeping our devices around for at least a few years. More recently, devices today have non-removable batteries, which become an issue when it stops holding a charge. So your average person ends up buying a new device, paying a lot to have a battery serviced or replaced, or just living with poor battery life. So our focus today is on a brief history on battery tech and a device on which laptops will last the longest Let's quickly go over some important terms so you hopefully don't get lost along the way. A charge cycle is the complete charge and discharge of a battery from 100% to zero. This doesn't have to be all at once. For example, if you charge your laptop down to 50% and back up to 100, this is one half of a cycle. Standard batteries last 300 to 500 charge cycles. So if you break it down, you charge your laptop every day, this can wear down the battery to the point where it will no longer hold a significant charge after just a year. Other types of products that have these batteries are the iPhone, most Android phones, etc. Which is why you see the battery life go down as you continue to use the phone every day, year after year. And you might need a replacement after just a couple of years. Long life or long calendar life batteries. Long calendar life batteries last up to a thousand recharges at 80% of the battery's original capacity. This could last you five or even more years without having to think about how to keep the battery in a healthy condition. Now on to a brief modern history on battery tech. Now battery tech has come a long way, but we're gonna focus on lithium polymer, which debuted in 1999 in the Sony Ericsson. <laughs> This new lithium polymer type of battery enabled devices to have flat shaped or rectangular shapes. Prior to this, lithium ion batteries, which look similar to double A's, took up a lot of space in their cylindrical shape and couldn't be put into small or thin devices. The advantage to lithium polymer batteries were that they contained very little liquid components and could be machined to be as little as one millimeter. In present day, in 2009, Apple introduced their 17-inch MacBook Pro, which was the first of their new products to feature a lithium polymer battery that lasted up to a thousand recharge cycles due to some new advancements. At the time, they discussed the laptop industry and how no other company were putting batteries like these in their laptops, instead opting for ones that would only last 300 or 500 charge cycles in their computers. These shorter life batteries would need to be replaced two to three times more often. This means more waste and higher prices for us when they need replacing. Lithium polymer tech has since advanced even further with terraced battery shapes that can be form fitted into nearly any shape and will last the same 1000 battery cycles. 2020 and beyond. So in 2020, you'd imagine every laptop manufacturer has jumped on the bandwagon and put LCL batteries in their laptops. Well, you'd be mostly wrong. I did a little research and came across the EPA website, which is where laptop manufacturers register products with a certain rating according to how many points they get from the list of environmentally friendly considerations. I analyzed all the laptops currently available on the market and registered with EPA and found something surprising. Out of the several thousand product variations sold everywhere EPA is available, two out of every three products didn't have an LCL or long calendar life battery. This means their battery lasts just 300 to 500 charge cycles before their capacity significantly degrades. I'll leave a link to the spreadsheet I formatted to show the specific models that do and don't have longer lasting batteries since most companies don't list this on their website prominently. So why do batteries degrade at all? Each time you charge and discharge a battery, in your phone or your computer, lithium cells move from one side of the battery to another. When discharging, they move from the negative terminal, also known as the anode, to the positive terminal, known as the cathode. What happens over time is that internal resistance increases in the battery and more voltage is needed to charge the cell fully. On the negative terminal, there's growth of solid electrolyte interface, or SEI, which is a barrier that obstructs interaction with the graphite as well as lithium plating on the surface caused by high charge rates on the positive side. Electrolyte oxidation is formed and leads to capacity loss. Now onto the EPA website and notable brands. Like I said before, only one out of every three laptops have long calendar life batteries. And there's clearly two companies that have strived to put these in most, if not all of their portable products. That's HP and Apple. It's incredible to see these companies have chosen to use batteries that will give consumers peace of mind that their devices won't need a battery replacement for years to come. 
Some notable mentions are certain Lenovo products along with just a couple of product lines by Microsoft and Dell. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Subscribe for more videos like this and let's get a convo going down in the comments. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can, but until then, bye for now. Peace out.